Welcome to the FileAid Data Solutions Data Analysis Module. Here you will learn how to analyze date patterns, analyze data, and validate data on a field-by-field -field basis. We begin at the primary menu and choose option 3 for the data analyzer. Next, we choose option 1 for date pattern analysis. Here we see examples of date patterns. The analysis will inspect the contents of one or more specified fields for each record to determine if the field contents matches one or more date patterns. On the next panel, we have entered the dataset name and corresponding record layout information. No existing criteria will be used. On the next panel, the Create New Criteria status is noted, and we press F8 to scroll forward in the record layout. We locate the Date of Birth field and the Hire Date field, enter the Execute operator for both, then press F3 to proceed. On the next panel, we confirm the date pattern analysis criteria set, then press enter to continue. On the next panel, we set the analyze option, then press enter to continue. On the next panel, the online processing option is chosen and we press enter to execute the analyze. Here we see the results of the analysis. For the date of birth field, we see that the values satisfy four different date patterns along with their counts. The summary includes a recommended date pattern. Similarly, for the higher date field, we see that the values satisfy three different date patterns and the one that is recommended. After viewing the analysis, pressing F3 ends the browse session where we next choose to exit without printing the analysis report. Next, we move on to the data validation option which allows the examination of fields for appropriate values. A list of valid values may be provided by a file or may be entered on a panel from your keyboard. Similar to the date analysis example, we provide the data set information, then locate the appropriate field in the record layout. Note that the relational operators include table for valid values in a file and list for valid values specified on a panel. For the packed field indicated, we choose the table operator, which displays a prompt panel. We enter the dataset name and the value location information. Let's take a quick look at this file. We have opened a browse session and enabled the hex display to see the valid packed values, which are as shown. With the entries complete here, we press F3 to continue. The next panel shows the encoded parameters. We press F3 to continue, then proceed through the subsequent panels until we see the results of the validation. We can see that numerous records contain invalid data, that is, values not found on the file supplied. Scrolling to the right, we see just what those invalid values are. We have noted the valid values. Scrolling to the end of the results, we see the record counts. 
Returning to the validation criteria screen, we will go through an example using the list operator. The next panel requests the name of a data set to store the list of valid values to be entered. Moving forward, the next panel allows for building a selection list. Here, the selection list is built to match the values found in the table used previously. When complete, we press F3 to continue, and the next panel allows for saving the selection list. The next few panels are all similar to those seen previously, bringing us to the validation result, which matches the table validation result. The final data analysis area is accessed by choosing option 3. We complete the data set information, then the corresponding record layout information. For the chosen field, the execute operator is specified. The next panel allows choosing analysis options. Subsequent panels shown previously have been omitted and the top of the analysis report is displayed. The statistics report is first. This is followed by the occurrence report and finally the invalid data report. This concludes this module. Thank you.